Hi everyone, this is Jenny. Welcome to your nice DIY studio. And today I'm gonna show you how to crochet the rainbow bow. This one, at the end you will see that when you do the center, you can put a headband or you can just leave it like this and you can put a hair pin so that you can use it for your hair. Okay, either way, you can use it even for headbands and for your purses, anywhere that you can see that you can put a bow. Even for your amigurumis, the, the big ones, the dolls, you can put a hair bow, bow too. So it all depends on your creativity and where do you want to put it. So let's get started. Okay, so for this one, I have used 100% cotton yarn. The brand that I use and I love is the sugar and cream. So I have one of each color of the rainbow. So I have the purple, the blue, the green, the yellow, orange, red, and the white is for the borders and the center of the bow. Now for this, you will also need some scissors because we're gonna be cutting the yarn. And for this one, I'm using a J hook that is six, I'm using a J hook that is six millimeters. And this one, if you're wondering, these are the furls, crochet hooks. And this one is a smaller one because when I finish the ends, I always like to pull it instead of weaving the ends with a tapestry needle, but that is your preference. You can use also a tapestry needle, but I always use this one. It all depends on, on your style of doing stuff. And, oops, sorry for that. And if you're gonna do a hair, a hair scrunchie or something you're gonna need your band or a hair clip okay so I'm putting everything on this side so that oh and the scissors and put everything on the side so I don't like have a big mess so here I started with the red so let me put see all the colors <laughs> all the colors are here let me take them out of the way. And other thing is, if you want to do the bow in just one color, I have a video of that. I will leave the link on the description below and also always on this side, it comes an eye that is more information and I will leave that link there too. Okay, so for starting with the bow remember to do a slip knot first so I always have my yarn pull down the yarn I twist it and then with my two middle fingers I hold it under the yarn and have it slip knot a chain okay now this one is already one we need eight more chains okay uh, we're gonna have nine chains in total this one is three four five six seven eight and nine okay nine chains now we're gonna skip the first chain and chain and single crochet until the end. So at the end, we're gonna have eight single crochet. So I put the hook in my second chain, pull a loop and pull it again. For those that are newbies, that's a single crochet. So let's do it again. Hook inside the loop, pull the yarn and then Pull it again that's another single crochet now you will notice that this bow that I'm doing is going to be a little bit bigger than the one that I just showed you than this one because this one I did it with a smaller hook 
but for the video purpose I'm doing it with a bigger one so that you can see all the stitches and everything that I'm doing but depending on how big or small do you want it you can change the size of the hook and the size of the yarn okay so it's all by preference okay and this one is the seven and eight single crochet so this one is the last one okay now at the end remember that we're gonna be changing colors here at the end let me put this on the side you go here okay here at the end let me pull it here it, it depends on your preference what do you want to do like here you can just here i finished my eight single crochet so you can chain one and cut it but let me show you also what i like to do because this way is a cleaner way to f do the project okay so i'm gonna show you my way but you can do every row by chain one and cut it and then at the end weave weave in you know hide all the ends but this is how i do it so if you like a clean look i suggest you follow this trick that i do but you can do it any way you want okay so for the next color it will be the orange so i'm grabbing my orange and what i do is that at the end when i'm finishing my single crochet i pull the loop of the next color see that's my next color and chain one now the red one that i have since i'm not gonna use it anymore i cut it and live like a tiny tail like the orange one and now i'm gonna show you what i do because i like to hide the tails while i'm doing my my work okay so now i have the tail from the chain the tail from the single crochets of the red row and the tail from the orange okay so now we're going back remember that i did one chain here now i'm gonna turn my work and we're gonna do single crochets until the end and working on top of the single crochets okay so i put my hook in and look what i do i grab all the tails and I put them over so that when I'm doing the single crochets, I'm also hiding those tails, okay? So now I'm gonna, no, here. So here I'm gonna pull the loop for the single crochet of the orange and finish it. And as you see, I'm hiding the tails while I'm doing the single crochets. Now let me do the next one so that you can see it. I put the hook inside the two loops of the single crochet. Remember to hold your tails. I pull the loop for the orange and pull a little bit the, the tails. And remember, your tension and I pull the loop again. So I'm gonna keep on working single crochets until the end of this row and when I finish, you will see that all of these tails are hidden inside the single crochets of the orange row. This one will be number three. Four. You will see that every single row we're gonna do exactly the same and you will notice that at, you will have like tiny tails out but that will be you know you can cut it with the scissors at the end 
Okay, now we're going to the last one. Remember to count them just in case. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And remember, we're counting by eights. And here's the last one. Now remember, you can do the single crochet, chain one and cut it. But remember, I'm changing colors while doing it. So now it comes the yellow. So I grab my yellow and I have my tail here. And remember, I'm gonna cut a little bit of the orange. So orange is out. As you see, this one is great for scrap yarn. When you have like little pieces of yarn, you can do any other color combination so it doesn't need to be actually the rainbow one okay so here i finished my last single crochet and remember i just had the two loops of the orange and pull out with the yellow now it's chain one because we're going up a row and turn your work and same thing grab your tails so that you can hide them inside of your work while you're working on the single crochet okay so we're doing it again two loops and pull that's your first your second and one thing that I also do when you're like working hiding the colors like pull the color of the last row down and pull up the color of the row that you're working. See, like in this case, I'm putting the orange down and the yellow up. So it doesn't look, doesn't look weird when you hide it and they don't mix the colors. And see, I keep on squishing the colors so they're hidden okay so here are the tails again i'm gonna hold it and see there's four this is five this one is six and we have two more seven and eight this one is the last one Okay, and remember the last two. Now I'm not gonna go with the yellow, I'm going to the next color, and the next color is the green. And see, like for the green, I have a little of green, but see, if I'm doing both with this little green, I can do a few bows uh, of the rainbow one. I grab my green. And remember, chain one, and you're ready for twisting and remember here pull it and cut your last color so yellow I'm done with the yellow put it away and I already did the chain one remember turn your work and grab your tails grab your tails and keep on working your next row Remember to pull it a little bit so and remember to do the yellow down green up because that's the way that we're working the rows and chain uh, single crochet one remember to pull your hook under the two loops you have your yarn two loops and one that's your single crochet and all across so here we're, we're almost done we only have two more rows and then we go to the border and it's super easy because everything is just single crochets and chains so it's it's not like so complicated so it's with basic stitches so those 
beginners you can do it and it's super cute the bow and you can do any color combination okay remember we're at the end two stitches now we're going to the mm, blue we're going to the blue now okay here's my blue and we're grabbing our blue remember we're having two loops of the single crochet now i close that single crochet and now chain one chain one and we're gonna cut that green because we finished already with that green okay and this green that i have i can do a few more bows with it okay now remember turn your work Grab your tails, make sure that green is down, blue is up, and you keep on working under the both loops of the single crochet. And remember, we're counting by eight, so each row is going to have eight single crochets. Also, remember if you're watching starting now, if you do not like to change the color like I do. You can always finish your row and chain one and cut it and then do it all over again. But I always love to hide the tails while I'm working because at the end it's less tails that I need to hide. Okay, so this is seven. And the last one. The last one remember two loops and I have the purple comes next okay, I have the purple I have purple here remember chain finish the single crochet chain one and cut your blue Let me put my blue away. Turn your work again. And pull your tails because see the blue? You need to pull it a little bit. That happens with every row. So remember to just give it a little pull. And start again. Like first single crochet. See here that it came up. Pull it just a little bit and keep on hiding the tails. My first, this is my second. Now, if you like the yarn that I'm using, remember that on the description below, I have my Amazon favorites and there is a, a list where I put all the yarn that I use, all the materials even the scissors and hooks so that you can get them from Amazon if you like and we're almost done in, with the purple okay now when we finish this row now this one I like to let me Okay, this is the last one. Okay, now this one, since we're gonna do the border with white, okay, so here, finish this row and chain one, okay, and cut it. Okay, so see, this is what you do when you have all the other rows and you don't want to hide the ends, okay. So here is our rainbow and see all these tiny tails, what I do, I just pull them a little bit and cut them. Like this one. And this one is okay because it's in the center. And remember in the center we're gonna have this, so it's not gonna show. And see how clean it looks like? It looks so. Here's another one. 
So this is why I like to hide all the tails first. Let me cut this little one here too. Okay, so be, uh, before you start with the white, try to clean your work. Okay. Now let me put the purple away. And let's start with the white. I will start in the center because I do this and I don't like, like to cut it and then do it again. So let's go to the center. And what I do, I put my hook in the any of the loops and I pull my yarn and I already have a loop there, okay? Let's do it again. I put in any loop in the middle. It, that will be like the four or five, like one, two, three, this one is the four. And pull the loop. And remember that we're gonna do single crochet again, so you have to chain one. Now, this little tail, you can hide it while you're doing your work, like we did with the with the rows okay so now we're gonna do a single crochet in the same stitch and we're gonna cro single crochet until the end of the row so that's one this is two three four and the last one is five so it's i have five single crochet here that means that i have three left at the beginning because it, we were counting by eight so let me see remember to always check our work so this is one two three okay so we're counting okay now for the corner you just need only to chain one and then single crochet in the same space okay and that's your corner see now you single crochet in each of the rows see in between blue and purple there you put one in between green and blue you put another one in between yellow and green and you will see because you can see the tiny holes in between here and you will notice in the red that you will work you need like to open it a little bit your corner will be where the chain started see so there's another single crochet and now remember we're gonna do the corner one chain and single crochet again in the same stitch and let me get some more white and we're gonna keep on doing single crochets until the end and see I'm working on the on the chain that I did when I started And in the last one, we're gonna do again a corner. And remember to count your stitches. So here I have, let me see. Here I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now I do one chain one and another single crochet and then again we're working on the middle of each row now remember that i did the chain the beginning chain nine and then only eight single crochet because we always skip the first if you want a longer bow you just add up more chains and if you want a bigger 
one like more thick you also add more rows and it's the same steps okay now I'm in the corner the same thing one chain and single crochet again in the same space and as you see I'm hiding the tail for the purple at the same time that I'm finishing my row see and now I finished the number three and here I'm done and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna slip stitch on top of the first single crochet that means that I'm gonna put the hook inside it I'm gonna pull the yarn and pull up the yarn again see and then chain one and I'm gonna pull it and I'm gonna have I will say a few inches let me check this one <coughs> since this one is big I will say like 10 inches and here I will cut it here and then I pull then so I have it here so this one is gonna be my thing for the middle now see I have the purple this one is already hidden so I can cut it and now this is the part where you decide if you're gonna go with a hairband so you put it here and while you're doing the the wrapping of the center remember to wrap also the the headband inside okay but since I'm gonna use a hair clip for this one I can put it at the end okay now here what I do I have my rectangle I fold it in half then fold this to the back and the other side to the back again now I have like a it's like doing an M and here you can see if you see any more hairs from other yarn just cut it now since I'm in the center here what you're gonna do is you're gonna start wrapping around and as you see I'm wrapping but I'm also hiding the color so it looks like really really clean so the goal here is not to let any color show from the in between the white okay and then when you're almost done with that last tail that's why I like my hook let me see where I, where I put it okay here I have it that's why I like my thinner hook it's more small because when I almost done on the back I can put the hook in and I can just you know the tail pull it and it's easier for me and I can just pull it from the other side whoops let me see where it, where it went so be careful here see I, you need to put it under the white and you just pull it through and then what I do I I turn it over and then I go up on the last one and pull it through again until that tail is almost gone and see what I did I stop in the one that is before the last one and see now is gone that tail disappear and now what you do you grab let me put all this away okay so you have a squish you just like this part of the end you just pull it up and this side the same thing you just pull it up and you know like push the center if you need to pull it a little bit and push this part up and there's your your bow and now since this one is gonna be a hair pin you can just like put it inside and see push it and that's it there's your bow it's super easy you can do it in different colors 
in different color combinations and see if you're one a smaller one see like this is like a mommy and me set so you can do it with a smaller hook or a bigger hook depending on the size that you want okay so if you don't want to crochet it you can also send me a message and i'm always open to orders so you can also find me on facebook or on instagram all of those links are there in the description below okay thanks for watching i hope i see your creations remember to use the hashtag genice diy studio remember to share like and comment this video oh subscribe to the channel if you haven't and remember to put to hit the bell so that when i upload a new video you have a notification that i did okay thanks for watching thanks for all the love and hugs and kisses to you and see you in the next one bye